Hi, I'm Dan Hubbard with Upanor Fire Safety. Upanor recommends a flow test for every AquaSafe installation. Today we're going to be talking about how to conduct a flow test using Upanor's AquaSafe instruction sheet. Locate the most hydraulically demanding sprinkler. With the system turned off and drained, remove the sprinkler from the sprinkler head adapter fitting. Insert the flow test assembly. Attach the test orifice to the end of the test assembly. The test orifice must match the size of the hydraulically demanding sprinkler head. Dismantling a spare sprinkler is the best way to ensure you have the proper orifice size. Charge and fill the system. Open the ball valve on the test assembly and flow water until air is completely out of the system. Trapped air will negatively affect the flow test. Once air is purged, close the ball valve on the test assembly and prepare the test bucket. Open the apparatus and perform a timed flow for 60 seconds. If the amount of water in the bucket matches or exceeds the calculated flow on the plan, the flow test is a success. If the water in the bucket does not equal the calculated flow on the plan, review the troubleshooting checklist and perform the flow test again. In areas where you can't use a bucket, there is an alternative available. Locate the pressure requirement for the sprinkler located on the fire sprinkler plans and get a pressure reading while doing a short 10 second flow test. After a successful flow test, complete the Upanor AquaSafe flow test form and send a copy of the results to Upanor Design Services and the local inspector. It's also important to keep a copy for yourself. Performing an AquaSafe flow test ensures that the system is working when you leave the job site. 